Hello, this is Jay from Cucumber Shop. Today, um, we're going to talk about sprouting seeds. And something that people don't often talk about, um, but I'm going to mention today. So, um, here's a sprouted seed, and um, I've already planted or put in the soil blocks a lot of these seeds that I'm going to grow out into little transplants. And uh, this is one of those little seeds, cu cucumber seeds that have been sprouted for transplant. It's actually a cucumber melon, but I'm not getting get into that today. Um, so, what I wanted to talk about was uh, a bit of seed orientation. Now, there have been some studies that have said it doesn't matter which way you plant the seed. And I believe that this is true, is pertaining to um, new healthy seed. But what happens if you have old rare seed or heirloom seed that maybe grandma gave to you a long time ago or something like that? Um, oftentimes that seed is weak and uh, needs as much help as you can get give it. So when you plant seeds the thing you want the most is to have the little seed get from sprout to uh, sorry, from little seed here to sprouted plant as soon as possible. As soon as it can pull out the leaves from the seed coat, the sooner it will get photosynthesis. The longer it takes to, uh, in this stage, the more energy is spent and the less likely it is to even emerge. So, in order to increase emergence, you need to uh, make sure that the plant gets to that state as quickly as possible. And one way we can do that is by seed orientation. Now, I don't mean a specific orientation with this, but what I do mean is that we want to um, make sure those seed coats are properly secured. Now, it's important that we have the roots get to the water. That's one of the most important things. But after that, and equally important is that those um, little seed coats are firmly secured. So for me, what I do is I just make sure that they're firm against the side of uh, these uh, soil blocks and then I let the roots go in the middle. So you can see I firmly secured them. So what that does is then when the seed tries to grow out, this little root is going to pull out of that seed coat. And in order for that to happen, that seed coat needs to be secured. If not, what will happen is this seed will come out like that and it will grow a seed and not a plant. If, that, if this seed coat is dry and hard and uh, the plant is weak, it will not be able to shed its seed coat. So you'll have to spray it often in order for it to shed its seed coat. But the better alternative is just to put it in securely in the soil to begin with. So for me, um, let's see, this is not easy to do with one hand. So I am putting this guy there, in there, and then I'm gonna put him in like that. There we go. There, now you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, couldn't even see what I was doing there. So I put him for firmly in there. And now, um, give it some water. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, there you know, you can kind of see it. Um, I'm going to cover all the middles of these seed soil blocks with some soil and some water and get them going. So that's about it. Just some thoughts about how to transplant your little uh, seeds or I should say pre-sprouted seeds or uh, germinated seeds and uh, into the soil. You just want something uh, for the seed coat to kind of pull against so that they, um, the plants emerge properly. Again, this is Jay from Cucumber Shop, and thank you for watching.